Hi, Brian here. Welcome to the shop. Let's now take a look at this beautiful, charming, small little mid-18th century pocket gazetteer. It is essentially a small atlas of the world. It's in a period European, actually French, full calf, modeled calf leather binding with the uh, typical sort of richly gilt decorated compartments, raised bands, and this gilt lettering which shows the human hand at work, slightly askew, wonderful, charming uh, sort of um, aesthetic. And we see there's a short crack uh, at the head of the front joint. There's a little bit of loss at the base of the spine here, a little bit of uh, bumping and loss there. But as typical for books of this vintage, it is still very sound and tight and well bound. The covers are still strongly attached. There is no danger that uh, these covers are going to come off anytime soon. This type of binding is almost indestructible. Uh, and we'll see here on the title page that it is 1749 Paris and it is Geography Universelle by Bouffier. And uh, what's very nice about this is that it is complete with its uh, suite of 18 engraved folding maps. And we're looking here at the table of contents, like so, Poland, Lithuania. The format is a question and answer format to teach uh, geography. The first folding map is the world in double hemispheres with a giant California as an island here. And you'll notice the continent of Asia is just basically right there, bumping up against the north of uh, uh, California. And the uh, east coast here of uh, Australia is still unexplored and undefined. We see that it's attached to New Guinea here, and Van Diemen's Land, which is of course an island, is not is not known at this point if it is or not, and so it is shown undefined like that, which is just uh, charming little features uh, on that map. Then we get into this uh, decorative map here of Europe with a little cartouche. Look at Iceland there with a little volcano. Fascinating little outline here of a partial island that's unnamed there. But that's a charming little map. And then we get into this one here of France. Yeah. And that is followed by, we'll keep going. I'll try, to, I'll try to catch all of them. It's conceivable the way they're folded in that I could go by one, but I will do my best uh, to uh, show you each of them so you can see exactly how they survive. Uh, and here is a nice one of the Low Countries. Yeah. Okay. And keep going. And here is one of Switzerland and Savoy there. <laughs> okay. And this one here is German Empire, like so. And You'll notice these are all on inset tabs. And this is why sometimes when you see uh, older 18th century maps and earlier, there'll be a broad margin or a wide margin followed by a much narrower margin below. And that is as issued, as you can see right here, this is exactly as it was issued. Uh, and this is why it's not a defect. If you see maps like this where the mar blank margin stops here, it's issued right within the book just exactly like that. Uh, so there's nothing to be done. <laughs> that, that map, the, um, the margin can be uh, extended with old paper quite readily, but it's not necessary. And uh, I think that that's just not really something that a map needs to have done to it. And here we have one, there's Spain, like so. They're all clean, you'll notice. The contents are clean. It's, they're not, it's not foxed or stained or anything uh, displeasing. And here is the British Isles. It's interesting, 1844 is the date. A lot of times the edges of these maps, the paper is folded slightly under, so there actually is no loss here. It's just a little bit folded under like this, and this is folded over. So the uh, uh, map is completely uh, intact as it was issued. There's no loss uh, to uh, any of them as far as I can see. 
And here's one here of Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. There's a very nice primitive quality to these. Yeah, it's, there's, a, there's a real charm to this sort of cartography. Um, yeah, there's a nice map there of Poland, like so. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, aesthetic, a very nice era of geographical uh, book. And here is Greece. And we have here, of course, Asia. And what's just worth pointing out here very quickly on this map is this company's land right here. It's a apocryphal landmass shown in partial outline there north of Japan. And Korea, you'll notice, has two rivers that in, es in essence really do form it into uh, an island. But we'll just say that it's a peninsula there with rivers. Uh, and here is Turkey in Asia. Look at the outline shape there of Cyprus. Yes, that's what's so interesting is these, uh, the primitive quality of these really does simplify the geography. And uh, yeah, and there is Africa. And coming up, I do believe, is a, a charming and wonderful map of North of the Americas that shows actually uh, California here as a, an island with a very uh, particular indented type coastline here. Of course, this is all blank in the north. Yeah, there's that one. And I think we've seen them all now. There is an extensive index at the rear, like so. And that's how this charming little pocket uh, gazetteer or atlas survives. And it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.